popping a well inside and I really want to thank you for watching the videos that I've posted already there's a lot more to come we are just starting a journey of learning Python and it's very important that we do it step by step in my last videos I promised that we'll be creating a program called hello world in Python before we actually proceed it is very important to make sure Python is installed on your computer I'm using a MacBook right now a Mac computer comes with Python already and you can obviously download the latest version and I'll show you what to do um, but I wouldn't be going through the whole journey of downloading Python because that's something which you need to learn and do yourself and there's a reason I'm saying this because I can obviously show you what to do and I will help you in comments but I don't want to just show you things I want you to be involved because it's a programming language that you're learning and trust me if I'm just telling you things to do and you're just copying and pasting it or not doing it on your own computer you will not learn Python or any programming language so it's very important that you do things on your end as well that I'm doing here and you can always ask questions and I will be happy to help but it's very important that you download Python yourself on your computer now if you're using a Mac computer first thing I want you to do is just go on terminal and type Python and then space dash dash version this will show you any version of Python that is installed on your computer already if you're using a Mac computer if you want to just check which version of Python 3 is installed you can also write Python 3 space version and that will show you any version of Python 3 that's installed on your computer. Now by saying that, obviously there will be new versions coming for Python because it's such a vast and helpful programming language and there will be updates coming in future. So it's not always going to be the latest version. Now what you can do in this case is you just go on a website called python.org which is the official Python website. You just go to download section and you download Python from here. As I said earlier, I wouldn't be showing you the whole process of downloading because if you're using if you're learning a programming language, you should learn, you should actually know how to download and install a program I know it might sound um, a bit rude or it might sound um, that I'm not spoon feeding you but trust me at a later stage you will be thanking me because if you right now start doing Google searches or taking help from different sources which are available for Python you'll get in a habit of doing so and I want to get this started from very first video so once you have downloaded Python you will need different softwares to write program now a lot of people use PyCharm because it's um it's for Python I personally like using VS Code or Visual Studio Code some people also use Sublime Text or Atom and some people can actually like they use Idle as well which is 
something already installed in your Mac computer. So it's up to you, whatever program you want to use. I suggest you download a few of them and try using them, whichever you feel is the best, would be the best for you. Because you, if you search on internet, you will find a lot of different reviews for different softwares that you can run Python in. So I think it's more of a personal choice. But if you're using Visual Studio or Python, I think you, sh you should be good to go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I already have created a new Visual Studio file, which I've done from here, new file, and it's Visual Studio Code. I named it mytube01.py. Any Python file that you create should have an extension .py. Also, the name of this file has to be unique. And by unique, what I mean here is it should not match with any of the modules that you're downloading in Python. So it should not be exactly same. It can be similar, but it shouldn't be exactly same. And the reason for that is it will cause problems down the track. And there will be errors coming and you wouldn't learn. So trust me, try to put in a unique name. You can always use underscores hash, different alphanumeric symbols, if you're not sure, or just numbers to make it unique. Anyways, as promised, we'll be writing the first program. So here it is. To write hello world in Python, all you need to do is just type print too many else hello world and if I just run it Here we go. It says hello world. I also want you to learn hello world program with a twist because I want this to be interesting for you from very first program. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to make the computer speak hello world rather than just printing it here. Okay, so to make that happen in Mac computers, you need to type import OS. OS dot system. Double quotes, say, too many space, hello world. Now if I run this program, the computer is actually going to speak hello world. Here we go. Hello world. As you saw, the computer actually spoke it. Here we go. Hello world. So guys, right now I'm not telling you what this means, what this is, because I don't want it to be really complicated from very first video, but it's something which will get you interested and shows you the power of Python from the very first program. So guys, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because a lot more will come in this series and we'll be learning Python language 
together. Thanks heaps.